They're the worst chairs. Is though everyone at this festival is morbidly obese. These chairs are the worst fucking chairs. Welcome back to Bastard Radio. Yeah. 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 Wow. It has been a long time since we've done this. Yeah. The great Nick Bond is here. Yeah. Uh, thanks for having me. Nick is not mocking me. He also lost his voice. I know, yeah. I got a, a different uh, laryngitis. Whatever Lewis has is the gay one. I got the funny. Yeah. I got the one that's cool. <laughs> and also, you guys have been watching him kill all fucking weekend. Tim Dillon is here as well. Come on now. Thank you. Tim. Thank you. you. Thank you for having me. Please. You, you brought this up to me. The, one, the first show that I think ever happened in Skankfest history was Real Ass Podcast at the Creek and Cave with the three of us. Yeah. So Bastard Radio was born at Skankfest, the first yes. show in the history of Skankfest. And, and we weren't paid then. <laughs> we were not paid. Yeah. I don't think we'll be paid now. And that's okay. But this is where Skankfest ends. Yeah. By the way. This is... I brought a gun. <laughs> and I'm going to learn how to use it. Yeah. One way or the other. Yeah. Steven Paddock, I see you're 57, and I say, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, I can be, maybe I can be the Aaron Judge of Bodies this year. <laughs> the, mi the mic's okay. The mic's going in and out. It's good. Yeah, it's all right. Just... We're all, we're all, what is this? I think, the, I think the mics also have laryngitis. Yeah. I think also kind of fucked. If Stephen Paddock didn't do that, he would have been here tonight. There's yeah. no way. Yeah. There's no, <laughs> Stephen Paddock is the dude, definition of a real ass dude. dude. Lewis, Lewis, me and my possibly Vietnamese wife love you so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite part about that guy. He's a little squat, toad, kind of yeah. Asian wife. A Filipino, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And she went right back the yeah. day before, yeah, right. just in case. Yeah. She goes, he seems weird. I'm going to head to Manila and yeah, sit yeah, it yeah. out. I Something's who, weird. Something's up with that. I, I don't know who Stephen Paddock is. Of course yeah. you don't. I just, I, fi I fake laugh. Of course you don't. Because he what doesn't work at mintcomedy.com. Yeah. That's why you don't know who he is, because he's not making you any money. Shout out to BenComedy.com. Yeah. Shout out to all of the Cumbtown fans that are stealing this and sharing this on various discords. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way they're paying MintComedy.com. Yeah. Cumbtown fans have figured it out. MintComedy.com has made $13. <laughs> well. uh, look, we're doing something a little bit different here, okay? So, um, we're doing, obviously, Bastard Radio, but we, we decided to steal Andy Kindler's State of the Industry Address, and we're going to do our own State of the Industry Address and talk about the past year in comedy and the things that have happened. We haven't gotten together in a very, very long time. Long time. So this is great. This is a great thing. Mm -hmm. Nick, what, what, what are you, every time I see you, you look, you look like you're in a different part of the apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> what part is this? I don't know. I don't know, like the fucking part where you've just given up and been like, you know what, it's kind of cool. I yeah, like I it. guess I am. It's like, a, it's like a Thompson-esque. I kind of, no, I'm like, I've not been, well, I keep getting fucking COVID over and over again. <laughs> and so I, I've decided to become vegan, so I got cover. When people are like, what's wrong with you? You look like you have HIV. I'm like, no, I'm just being nice to animals. That's yeah. What it is. Fuck, are you, yeah. Are you vegan now? Yeah, I'm vegan. Are oh. you vegan? I am. How long? Uh, like six months. Wow. I think it's not, it's not a thing. For whatever reason, I've met a lot of people in 2022. It's not fucking like, uh, it's not like a weird thing anymore. It's not. It's like, remember how like ecstasy you just used to be for gay guys? Yes. And then at a certain point, it was like, oh, we can all do this. Yeah. And I, I feel like that's the 2022 for that's veganism. Vegan, yeah. It's yeah. Molly. It's doing Molly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, look. I don't even know. This probably has milk in it. I think I fuck this shit up all the time. I'm like, yeah, we're I'm vegan a, now. I'm just stepping yeah. on birds everywhere. We're, we're killing squirrels. We're in a, Los, Los squirrels. Angeles, we believe in eating meat. We're in a meat cult. Yeah. L.A. Comics, we believe in eating meat and rape. Yeah. 
nothing <laughs> but <laughs> meat and rape. It was, it was a it's like the <laughs> mental image of like drugging and raping a female yeah. LA comedian by yeah. putting roofies in like some baby back ribs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I, yeah. I wrap it up in a piece of turkey like she's a dog, and then I feed it to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. turkey leg. Yeah. So, Lewis, um, Lewis had a gun shoved in his ass today. I did have a gun shoved uh, yeah. in his ass today. Were you guys all during, during one of the classier segments of the... Were you guys all here for that? Dude. He charged, Nick, I don't know if you know this, he charged two really fat guys, two thousand fifteen hundred dollars Motorcycle twins? Yeah, these are two. These two. Drive to drive into his ass. Big, as he charged him fifteen hundred dollars to watch the go into his ass. Going to actually enter my asshole. In addition to their ticket, he charged him fifteen hundred dollars yeah. to stand behind and watch the gun go in his ass. I'm making him buy me drinks all night. Yeah. Well, you're honestly, you know what's a shame is you are legitimately the best businessman in comedy. Yeah. <laughs> <It's sad. laughs> He is. Sad thing is. Saying, you, know, you are. You really are. You're like the Bill Gates. I was saying to Dave earlier. Yeah. Skanks Fest is like the podcast is kind of like your Microsoft. Yeah. But this is your Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Yeah. Is this, this is right. This is it. He's he's he's. This is as far as Joe Rogan would have gotten if he had Down syndrome. <laughs> which, which, <laughs> The like, jury's this is, still out. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this is the Joe Rogan experience yeah. if Joe had Down syndrome. Yeah. He'd have a hat like this and he'd be having guns put in his ass. I'm still not convinced. For $1,500. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Fuck that funny. Mm -hmm. All right. So, look. Let's go back to the beginning of the year, guys. Okay. Uh, last year at Skankfest, we had Bob Saget. And then just a couple months later, he fucking... Killed himself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he killed himself, and then Nikki Glaser wrote a beautiful tribute. Yeah. Uh, what? She wrote a beautiful tribute. I, I imagine that she just was writing that song anyways and sent it yeah. to Bob Saget, and he was like, I got to make it look like an accident, so she doesn't know this is the reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's, isn't that what happened? She, she already wrote the song, and then really? Bob Saget died, and she changed like five words. That's a true thing. I didn't know that. Yeah, she I didn't know that. I heard, look, I'm friends with Nikki. So I, am I, too. I watched I watched maybe two and a half seconds of the song and I was yeah. like, this is I can't do this to my friend. Right. To witness this. Yeah, I'm friends with her too, and Legion of Skanks made a two month long bit about it. <laughs> yeah. I love it's Nikki. Not a but fuck that. If you're her friend, she should be shamed for it. It's yeah. not a bad song. Yes, it is. It's not a bad song. I met him in the green room. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, as far as I got. But <laughs> it, what, how did it go? It was so fucking bad. Can we play a second of it, Bobby? Yeah, I was good. I don't even remember it. Please, the uh, the Bob said the Nikki Glaser Bob Saget song. What was it called? It was not called "I Love You, Bob Saget." What, we, what, we, what an inspired name! Oh, it's a song for Bob. Hell yeah, dude! This guy just won a free shot at the tequila. Come on, dude! Come get it, you pussy! Here, Nick, Nick, pour it into his mouth because I know he's going to come if you do it. Right. Yo, come take a shot. Yeah, dude, come take a shot. shot of give it up for this guy. I'm not, I don't, I actually this don't guy, know. I don't know how much a shot is into a mouth. This guy looks like every character witness in a rape trial. There you go. He, he's like, nah, man, he's a good dude. He's my, oh. yeah, give, it up for, you. give it up for Dadam Friedland. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Three people booed and they thought they started chanting Lewis, and it turned into a Lewis chant with like the other Retarder people in the crowd. Thank you, guys. Do you have the Nikki Glaser song? Let's hear it. Not bad. No, with all the bass in there, yeah. drowning out the Lewis. I hope she writes a song when I die. <laughs> was a fat fuck he made fun of me he's a fat piece of shit and now he's dead he was nice to my face he was nice to my face and every other minute he shit talked to me and then i saw him in the comedy store parking lot and he said that's just what comics do all right thank you Oh, shit. So, uh, let's see. There's a lot of deaths right in the beginning of the year. Louis Anderson dies of lymphoma. Uh, Amazing Jonathan dies of heart failure. 
Um, yeah, so yeah, fuck those guys, I guess. And uh, oh, this was a big deal. This was a big deal in the world of comedy, guys. And a lot of people are, are blaming violence at comedy clubs for this incident. But on March 27th, 2022, Will Smith jumped on stage and slapped the shit out of Chris Rock at the Oscars. Women's Look, these people don't know how to feel. It's like on one hand, a black person is being hit. <laughs> and on the other hand... So wait, let me get the premise of the year in the review is we recycle bits from Jane. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's like, wait, go this is, we're going to redo, we're going to do what Andy Kindler did. Yeah. Yes. We're going to panic and immediately go to old bits from January yes. about the Oscar. This, is, this has nothing to do with beer at all. Yeah. Like, no, this, this is the, 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 the well, comedy. Com oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. in comedy. Yeah, well, okay. It's the state of the sense. industry address. Yeah, well, that was, that was unfortunate. I explained this to you guys 15 fucking times yeah. in detail. What would you have done? Because I picture you at the Academy Awards and... <laughs> You're somehow you're presenting an award because in ten years the country's over anyway. We Putin's nuked us ten years later. You're at the Academy Awards yeah, somehow. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> businessman Louis J. Gomez <laughs> presenting the award for best black lady yeah. <laughs> of the year. She doesn't even need to be in a movie. We just picked a black lady. The so fatter, the better yeah. at the Oscars. Yeah. So someone goes up, uh, uh, Will Smith goes up to attack you. You're a violent uh, Hispanic person. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, violent Hispanic businessman. Yeah. Jacob. You're a violent Hispanic entrepreneur. What do you do in that situation? <laughs> I, I mean, I think you fight back, don't you? Yep, I guess. You, you never fight stop back. fighting, dude. Not, <laughs> uh, not on the streets, not at the Oscars. <laughs> You always keep fighting. You fight. So you, you, you go I, just straight I up. think we, it turns into a fucking fight on stage at the Oscars, me versus Will Smith. Really? Yeah. You fuck him up. You go to Jada. Probably not. Will Smith could probably beat my ass. If I had a guess. You think Will Smith beat you up? No. He, play, he played Muhammad Ali, right? It doesn't matter, though. That That's guy's... acting, Lewis. That's not real. <laughs> That's real. Yeah. That's a movie, <laughs> Lewis. <laughs> That woman's also destroyed that man's soul. He has no confidence anymore. Right. No, I know, but I'm saying, like, wouldn't... All right, he's rich as fuck. He's in great shape. And then wouldn't he have trained to box as Muhammad? I think he... he pro I, I have a theory that all rich people have personal trainers and they, like, secretly learn Krav Maga in their basement. You know? I would so tell you right now, that is, uh, from my personal experience, that is untrue. <laughs> You also trained for like a real fight. Though. No, I, yeah, I do. I'm kidding. I could probably beat up Paul Smith, but I don't think it'd be as easy You're as... You're trying a... out being humble for 2022. <laughs> humble Lewis. The first time ever. Now that he's had a gun in his ass, he's like, maybe I've been thinking about the world <laughs> the wrong way. Maybe I gotta ease up a bit. Now that I know how women feel. Yeah. Now that I've had a gun in yeah. my <laughs> Baby James is like, there was a turning point in my father's life. <laughs> He had a plastic gun shoved in his ass in Vegas. That's crazy that that's legal, that a man can it's put a gun in his ass. definitely not legal. But a woman can't get an abortion. I feel like the fucking gun in the ass. Well, women are now going to get abortions the exact way Lewis yeah. today, yeah. where you just put a fake plastic gun. Oh, no, we're getting your baby a tattoo before it's born. It's Gangs Fest. Yeah, dude, we're giving up free abortions in the sheath lounge at Gangs Fest. We're getting your baby... We're getting your feet. We're going into your pussy to give your fetus a swastika tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> and if it happens to die, that's not an abortion. Your baby was just too cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Who else so, died? You know, do you think that Will? Do you think that Will Smith slapping Chris Rock has now made people feel? Uh, empowered to start striking comedians because this has happened a lot. Comedians are getting fucking attacked on stage. Is someone that true? Just, someone just threw a bear, uh, bottle of beer at Ariel Elias. That was me. Oh, really? Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, another woman yeah. comic? Fuck this. Yeah, and I yeah. threw a beer at her. I feel like people that are going to do that don't need to feel emboldened, but maybe they are. I don't know. Yeah, man, neither do I. I think, I think people have been attacking I comedians. That. Honestly, if I was 10 minutes into a fucking hour-long set, Somebody came up and slapped me in the face. I'd be like, great, give me my settlement for the weekend. I'm, I'm off work. You just owe me money. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a real issue. I don't give a shit. Who cares? I'm going to humiliate myself anyway. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, what, what's worse? Getting slapped in the face or dating's real hard these days. I can't find anybody to love. Yeah. Nick, Which one I, feels worse? I love how much Nick hates doing stand-up comedy. I hate it. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, look, what would you do if somebody came up and said just slapped you? I would if it was Will Smith. I tucked his dick right there. He dropped I would suck Will Smith off at the Oscars in front of it. Yeah. Can we get and, uh, who, of, By the way, who got, the who, mic. are these mics from Mattel? Where? Are, who, who paid for? Why this? would I have to be the person to say get Tim another mic? We have 15 fucking producers here that are tripping on acid that should have been able to yeah. hear that. We have 15 producers on mescaline that have no idea where they are. <laughs> Yeah, let's get him another microphone, please. Thank you, guys. It's all right. It's, is, it's that even, is that happening, or are we just looking? Well, figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll work with it. It's fine. Yeah. Will, I'll work with it. <laughs> We're in a movie theater. Theaters one through five. I feel excited to just be here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, what, is, what, what is else this happened? space, by the way? I've been trying to figure it out. A homeless shelter. Yeah. <laughs> The, the homeless of Vegas were removed. <laughs> Lewis and Rebecca Trent went around paying homeless people yeah. to leave no, it really if they like didn't want to work. This is the kind of thing like the Soviets would build at a World Fair to mock capitalism. <laughs> right, right. This is yeah. be like, look yeah. how fucked up it is. Yeah. I mean, look at the diamond cages. I mean, it's just yeah. disgusting. <laughs> What is that? Yeah, the, the whole thing. I haven't even seen this. It's disgusting. <laughs> they have they have this shit in the background at LOL Comedy Club in yeah. San Antonio. Yeah. Notoriously shitty club. By Somehow, the way. by the way, I drove I yeah. drove by like 15 really nice convention centers to get here. Yeah. Every one, I was like, oh, Lewis, fuck yeah. Was, and yeah. I got here. There was a dusty, bloody homeless guy. Right. Because that's Vegas homeless. It's just dust and blood. You have to go past all of the clown-themed <laughs> casinos yes, to get to whatever right. the fuck this is. I literally said to the guy, the homeless guy, I was like, is this the skank fest? And he goes, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. He's like, hey, you got a vein I could borrow? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work, but maybe we shoot you up and then you fuck me. <laughs> I want that high somehow. <laughs> oh, shit. I can't believe Sirius XM turned the show down. Fucking Sirius XM. Pieces of shit. That's psychotic. They turned us down just so Russell Brand could talk about viruses or whatever. <laughs> By the way, I'm watching right, eight way. producers freak out and try to find a microphone right now. It's, it's all right. We, we'll figure it out. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. All right. fine. I want to see them fight over it, Tim. So, all right. April 3rd, 2022. The Wait, great... What happened in February March? You just completely just said we're not... Nothing gonna... really happened. Right, no we're, we're... Black History Month stuff whatsoever. <laughs> we're cutting that out. Lewis well, no, they're, they're, I'm, I'm skipping over some stuff because I, don't, I mean, are we going to talk about T.I.? Getting... Yes, let's talk about T.I. Right, T.I., fine. <laughs> Rubber got... Band Man. Yeah. T.I. got booed after a comedy set at Barclays set. Dude, hold on. Honestly, the confidence of T.I. to write a lyric wild as the Taliban in like 2003, <laughs> like two years after 9-11, yeah. he was the first guy to be like, fucking Osama's actually pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's, he does not appreciate it enough for that. He's South not... Park wasn't even doing that. <laughs> Have you seen T.I.'s comedy yet? No, but I'm sure it's better than 99% of what stand up comedy is. <laughs> Lewis has so many spelling errors in this. Yeah. He doesn't know how to spell shout. Yeah. He doesn't know how to spell T-I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's the only... Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, fuck. That was a perfect joke. Um, no, this was Mike Harrington put this list together okay. for me. Oh, yeah. he, Louis, what's the book, Louis? Lu Louis C.K. wins Best Comedy Grammy. Yeah, he wins the Grammy for Best Comedy album. The great Louis C.K. returns, and uh, yeah, he it wins. It says Louis T.I. <laughs> Louis, Louis T.I. <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey dies of ventricular tachycardia. Gilbert Godfrey died? He's dead. What is that's how I found out? Is he died right? at Skankfest. Yeah, I just, I just remembered. Yeah. We did, by the way, Gilbert Gottfried and um, uh, Danny Tanner, whatever his name is, Bob Saget. <laughs> their last festivals were Skankfest. <laughs> no, I felt like an in memoriam thing. I'm saying we actually probably killed them. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great, it's a storied career <laughs> that ends with Skankfest. That's <laughs> real. He's done a lot. It's beautiful. All right, so uh, all this tragic stuff happens, and then the most tragic thing that happened in April was Brendan Sharp releases Gringo Poppy <laughs> on April 28th, 2022. I don't understand, I don't understand the Brendan Sharp hate, right? Because, I mean, obviously I understand it. But like, <laughs> right. 
but everybody's doing it now. You know what I mean? It's 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 people are very angry. At well, it's like because comedians are all like emotionally stunted people. Yes. And it's like somebody broke the day. I don't know who it was, but one guy was like. What if we made fun of the retarded kid? Yeah. And now everybody's like, get him! Yeah. I don't know yes. what the fuck. Thank you. The great Mike Harrington. Great. Right, here's, here's the reality. He, Brandon has a legal right to do comedy. Yes. <laughs> that's the, that's, we live in America, and he is legally allowed yeah. to do stand-up comedy. And that's a country I love. And it's a country I love. You know, so what are you doing? I know, but it's like, it's, yeah, it's sh that, shitting on Brendan Schaub is like, you know that scene in The Simpsons where Marge is like, Homer, there's that bird you like to argue with. Yeah. And then he goes and he argues to the parrot. It's like, who's watching that? And it's like... Yeah. He's really thinking like, oh, I gotta tell this guy he's bad. What if in ten years he becomes the greatest comedian to ever? Like, what if he does starts with Carlin level, prior brilliant, sh like brilliant shit? Um, I don't yeah. know if he can get ever get to Carlton level. Yeah, <laughs> yeah look, everyone, look, it, it's the button in the room that you're not supposed to push because we all want to get on Joe Rogan, and I just couldn't stop pushing that button. What do you want me to say, dude? If somebody says, don't push that button, you're going to push that button, you know? And I watched it happen with him. I went on Tim Dillon's show, and he just could not push that button. <laughs> I did. We talked about it. I know. When Gringo, Gringo Poppy came out, you were like, ah, it stinks. No. It, no. Here's the deal, Brendan. I, I, he's a nice guy. He's genuinely a nice guy. Like, he's a nice guy. He's, and say I said nice guy before. one more time. I've said this before. He is. He said nice guy seven he times in a row. He's all this whole year in a nice review guy. thing was a trap. He is not, he's not Richard Pryor. I think that's fair. Yeah. And I don't think Rogan thinks he's the greatest comedian in the world either. Yeah. I don't think Rogan's like, Brendan, mom, who's the bus? <laughs> it's a fucking bus, mom. <laughs> did you see the thing at Dead Mount about the lion? <laughs> it's fucking a lion, mom. It's, it's fucking nuts, mom. Lions are real. And they're out of his house, mom. It's brilliant. No. All right, so moving on. My... So that's the re that's the reason. It's because of the Rogan thing. I really thought it was comedians were worried that he was going to like do karate at them. No. <laughs> I, it would be funny if he started beating up everyone. <laughs> like if he just came in here right now, and just started beating the shit out of all of us. Yeah. It Hold would on, be funny. I've lived Dude, my entire many... life that way. That's how it's always gone. That Dude, how many awesome. skank fans do you think it would take to beat up Brendan Schaub? He would kill everyone in this room. <laughs> He would, he would just throw it. <laughs> Someone's Everyone like, quick, run. quick, get the gun out of Lewis's ass. <laughs> get the emergency killing Brendan asshole gun. <laughs> Andy Letterman grabs it out of his ass. <laughs> That's the end of Skag Fest. <laughs> we shoot Brendan Schaub in the head and we're going, thank you, see you next year. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, all right, so May, t May 3rd, 2022, Dave Chappelle is attacked on stage by a man armed with a knife. Yes. Says, so this is it, this is what's happening, dude. Will Smith, he opens the floodgates. Now people are just jumping up on stage trying to attack people. And, uh, yeah, that, that happened. He was fucking attacked, and then they beat the shit out of him. Which it, is, must, it must be tough for you, someone who has never tried to bring violence into comedy in any... <laughs> Capacity. I Don't mean, say you, that. You keep them so separate. I, I've not, first of all, I'm sorry that I'm not. There's a ring outside <laughs> right now that homeless people are crawling yeah, into yeah. to kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think maybe you're blurring the lines a bit? No, maybe. You maybe maybe bum fights back for Skanks Fest. <laughs> Maybe comedians should stop being such fucking pussies and start punching each other in the face a little bit more. No. That's what I say. No, I'm going, I'm going more pussy, dude. I'm going to start... Every show, I'm going to have, like, a wire hooked up to my ass. <laughs> and then I'll bait people until they run on the stage. And then I get lifted by my asshole. Up and, <laughs> just dangling above them like a, flying above. like a spider, pissing and shitting myself. <laughs> I'm like, get me now. <laughs> Try to stop me now. <laughs> And then it's just humiliating for everyone. <laughs> Am I the only one who liked seeing Dave Chappelle get attacked? I don't know if I saw that. It was at the Hollywood Bowl, right? Yeah, yeah. It was they fucked that thing. guy up. They did fuck that guy up, but, you know, Dave Chappelle's all preachy and shit. I was like, ah, you know what? He deserves to be punched every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> did you see his fucking last special? It was crazy. 
I didn't see. I watched a little bit of it. It, yeah. was, it was intense. Yeah, dude. It was fucking. It was I would call it a drama. Yeah. It's a dramedy. Dave Chappelle's doing dramedy now. Yeah. Yeah. What is yeah. he here? Is he behind me? What's happening right now? Yeah. Uh, all right. So, all right. So, um, May 6th and 12th, <laughs> Brendan Shaw. <Schaub. laughs> <laughs> this is all just Brendan Shaw. <laughs> it's all Brendan Shaw. I love it. May 6th and 12th. <laughs> yeah. You love it. By day. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Brent Job drops off his pre tour jeans. At the what did he do? May 6th, he up. invaded the Ukraine. <laughs> Brendan Schaub invades Ukraine on May 12th. And demands. Brendan Job accidentally speaks Ukrainian trying to say his own name. <laughs> Okay, he sounds like a disposal dying. <laughs> okay. Brendan Schaub gets exposed for bullying Bobby Lee and his girlfriend, Kalila Kuhn. Wait, hold on. What? I, is that the pronunciation of her last name? Is, is that? Is that? <laughs> Kalila Kuhn. Is it and a Kuhn? his girlfriend, Kalila Porch Monkey. <laughs> and I... <laughs> He tried every slur out yeah. to find the one that fit. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's K-U-H-N. What is that you saying? I guess it is. Yeah, yeah you're right. I Con can't think of a different way to say it, but maybe we should have handed it off to someone else. Yeah. <laughs> Kalila the Coon. <laughs> On an episode of H3 H3 Podcast, he then went on their podcast, Tiger Belly, a week after to hash it out. Uh, it was truly the gayest week in the history of comedy. Hey, hold on. I have no idea what this is. Now you've gone too far into the show. This is like deep Reddit stuff. Louis. Yeah, dude. No, I mean, fine, but Lewis, you shouldn't be this far into whatever's happening. Lewis didn't stuff. do any of this. Yeah. This Lewis is... did not read and then copy and paste. This, this was like, handed oh, to I, him by I, someone. A year in review, uh, May 12th, Brendan Schaub DMs uh, <laughs> Chris D'Elia and says, yeah. and he's referring to Lewis the... is like, on January yeah. 15th, Chris D'Elia drove by Calabasas High School at 9 a.m. He was spotted on a... <laughs> yeah, didn't that happen this year too? Yeah. The Dalia stuff? Maybe. Maybe. Well, I, mean, I don't think it, I don't think it's it, all been one big I, yeah, year. I don't yeah. think it's ended really. Yeah, it's never not happened. I think the people found out he was a pedophile, then he was like, okay, well, what am I gonna do? Stop? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I it's got like, bills to pay, pal. <laughs> It's like getting herpes. You're like, sweet, now I can just fuck everyone without a condom. Yeah, I tested positive. <laughs> what am I going to do? Stop! <laughs> put out a statement. He's like, hey, come yeah. on. Let's... We're all adults. Uh, yeah, right. Not all of us. Oh, but... you got me. I guess I'll just not be a pedophile anymore. <laughs> the way it always goes with pedophiles... Yeah. We go, now there he is, and then they're like, all right, I'm done. I'll turn the switch. I'm done now. You got I'll turn the switch off. I'll go to a different church, and I won't, I'll be yeah. fine there. Forty-year-olds are hot, too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you, because he's never apologized, right? Is that all the people want, is him to just apologize? And then they'll say... It's hard to apologize for that. For pedophilia, not, right? Well, it's not pedophilia, right? It's a heap of, it's like the other one. Yeah, where you, where like where you fuck child Jews. Yeah, where you fuck child Jews. I'm a hemophiliac. I think he did I think he came out and said, I have a problem, and then I think he just moved on. Whoever created that distinction should be fired from the dictionary. <laughs> you know, that was the only word he brought to the table that year. He's like, how about if you're not, you don't want to fuck kids, but like, yeah. if they're kids, but they got pews. Dude. And we do a word for that. Yeah. And Miriam Webster's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Neil I mean, just because of the union, we got to put this one in here. But you're done, buddy. Once your contract's over, you're out of here. <laughs> But he, he, you know, he, um, you know, he's he's still out doing comedy because that's a yeah. great thing about comedy; it heals. <laughs> yes. I know he's still doing comedy, but he still has groupies. You can look at his like, yeah. Like, there's still women they that are like, care. I love you. I know, right? I mean, they don't care. Yeah, yeah. they're sixteen. They don't 
care. That's they true. Don't give a shit. They're too young to remember what he did last year. You're right. <laughs> they were still toddlers then. <laughs> also, I'm like, what, like I don't know what, what he did. You know, it's all alleged. Yeah. But what type well, of woman? You don't know what Chris D'Elia did, but you have Brendan Schaub's The Dates yeah. He Went On, Bobby. <laughs> you, 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 you have a fucking, like... CIA yeah. level cable. This here. is this is like the courtroom shit from yeah. fucking JFK. You have <laughs> more information here than these people's lawyers have. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is like, there's military time in here. That sounds. I'm saying I don't I don't Why know. Why did you not book him for Skankfest? Who? Dalia. Dalia? Yeah. Uh. Are you? Well, I mean, it's 21 plus. Nobody could be hurt technically. Yeah, so. That's right. yeah. Because you you have to make these type of decisions, and I wonder who, you know. He's not really in our world. Mm. You right. know? Uh, Dalia. Okay. That's she, uh, yeah. What world is that? Yeah. Racist podcast. Okay. 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 Uh, Fair. Honestly, it's, uh, they really did a service to the New York comedy scene by being pedophiles and really shitty comedians. <laughs> <laughs> then we got a pass, you know? And people are like, who cares about somebody saying chink? You know right. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, this guy It's just like the, the New kid. York guys are like, it's like everybody's going to jail for rape, and they're like, we're the ones that say chink. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> how nice is that? This is as good as it gets. Yeah, how nice is that? It doesn't get any better. Yeah. Than... It's cute. Can I get a, another Makers on the Rocks, please? Yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks, boys. <laughs> uh, all right, so Kalila Coon, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I don't really care about it, but I mean, look, dude, fuck it. We invited Bobby Lee to Skankfest. He didn't come. Yes. So I'm on Brendan Schaub's side. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Why didn't Bobby come? Bobby would have had a great time. Here. I thought yeah. he would have had a great time. I don't time. know. Yeah. I don't know. A lot of these LA guys, I think they're afraid to associate with the, the Skankfest world. And why I think would, it was what? Why I would think, that be? And then yeah. just play the tape back like 10 <laughs> yeah. seconds ago? I think it was the, yeah, <laughs> just, it was the 19 just, articles just, of like Newsweek <laughs> about this podcast. That's right. Did yeah. you know Aaron Berg was at the Financial Times last yeah. week? Yeah. Wait, Did you what? see that? Why? Like, FT interviewed Aaron Berg. In the, the Financial Times? He's in the Financial Times. About what were they interviewing him I don't about? Know, I'm reading about sovereign debt, and it fucking comes up, Aaron Berg being like, here's why I gotta say slurs on stage. <laughs> I'm like, damn, we are really in a fucking recession. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> sovereign debt. Come on, EBT. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Uh, May 30th, 2022, the great Rich Voss is banned from Winnipeg Comedy Club for offensive remarks oh. against indigenous women. I didn't even hear about this. What did he I say? Did, I, I did not hear about this at all. You didn't hear what he... I guess I should have fucking done more research. New York guys, you really don't know how to make the yeah, news. Right. Yeah. You better rape a few of those indigenous women yeah. if you want to get an article. Hold on, I'll pull up the quote. Give me a second. I just want to hear Rich Boss say indigenous women. <laughs> without fucking, without choking to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. American comedian's racist remarks spark walkout at Winnipeg Comedy Show. Uh, one thing that he said was, listen, lady, I'm not your sponsor. You need to go to your next AA meeting. He's making a joke, a joke about a talent show and saying that, you know, these ladies would likely to come up and make dream catchers. <laughs> Uh, the American comedian also made jokes about hoping the women would get ticketed for driving under the influence on the way home, she recalled, which perpetuated offensive yeah, hold on. stereotypes. That's insane to me. That it's, what, it's offensive to Native it's, Americans to say that DUI should be enforced? That's the, yeah. <laughs> that's the mildest thing ever. Yeah, that's not bad at all. It seems it's more anti-drunk than it is anti-Native American. And then this Native American woman, or this indigenous woman said, uh, we can't... We can't, uh, we can't. Dude, this is the best I mean, part. Lewis, please. <laughs> Jesus Christ, breathe. <laughs> we, I mean, why can't? No, I got it, guys. Uh, why can't we be able to come out for a fun night without our indigenity? Indigenity? And, hold on, to be fair, that's a hard that's word. That's a crazy I've word, never, dude. I've never indigenity? seen this Indigenity? Indigenity? Indigenity. Yeah. Being brought up without Indigen that being Indigen the center of his jokes and attacks. To see my sisters and my relatives be treated in this way, you get this sense of protection. Wow. Yeah, it's retarded. It completely... It's really stupid. It completely ruined our evening. That's why they don't run... That's why they don't run the world. Hey, uh, 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 who? Uh, fucking worried uh, about jokes. Uh, uh. You know who doesn't care about jokes? The Chinese. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, and then, then the Rumors Comedy Club, which, by the way, I've performed at Rumors before, they, they banned him. They said they have an ethical responsibility to ensure that all people are safe from insensitive racial ambushes. Boo. So, yeah, Rich Voss was canceled from Canada. Crazy. <laughs> and that was it. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, now here's where we get to it. He said they should all go back to their fucking wigwam. <laughs> oh, that's what he said. That was the... <laughs> that... Oh, that's hilarious, though. Let's see. Uh, the one that caused our table to go right, that's it. We've had enough and stand up and walk out in unison was when he said they should all go back to their fucking wigwam. <laughs> rich, 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 rich. Have you never chanted in your life? Uh, I don't really Good. Rich, chant. rich, 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 rich. I was half in, half the out. What fucking type of rhythm was that, you fucking non-chanting <laughs> asshole? How rich are you that you can't chant anymore? You stop chanting at a certain what is going number. on, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel bad. It's got to be bad to be like specifically like a Canadian native. You know what I mean? Because like the American ones, they were like genocided basically. But the Canadians are basically like, oh, can we just live here? <laughs> and then you got like polited out of your fucking home by the gayest yeah. people in the world. Yeah. That's got to feel bad. That is right. It's worse than getting a smallpox blanket. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. If Andrew Jackson killed my entire family, I'd be like, fuck it. They earned it. You know what I mean? They're still allowed to go to comedy clubs. Some, yeah. Some like, yeah. Some Canadian guy was like, would you mind scooching a bit? <laughs> Could you just keep scooching all the way to the Pacific? <laughs> I'd, Dude, one, I'd, be, I'd be make me feel bad about myself. One time I was opening for Nate Bargatze in Montreal, and there was a um, there was a concert in town. I want to say Creed. It wasn't Creed though. It was an even shittier band. <laughs> what's the shitty? What's the song that Big J sang? It got it. It was fucking Nickelback. Nickelback, dude. And Canadian Native Americans love Nickelback. Yeah. They love Nickelback. Dude, it was fucking packed. The entire town with all these natives. Yeah. And then Look at this photograph. <laughs> it stole your soul. <laughs> it's where your soul is kept. <laughs> See the photograph? They're like, I love it. It's scary music, to be honest. I just love that's our Danzig basically is fucking nickelback. <laughs> Yeah, but I was opening for Nate. This is so long ago, dude. And we were, uh, we were just in line at McDonald's, and this giant, fat Native American woman was ahead of me in line. And whatever it was, dude, the light hit her in the right way, and I was like, dude, I want to fuck this giant, fat Native American yeah, woman. The light. The light. <laughs> Lewis, the cinematographer. Yeah. <laughs> she was bathed in the light of the fryer. About... Something the way the light hit her. She was keyed in yeah. such a way yeah. that I wanted... <laughs> she was heaving in a way that yeah. made me... It was a heat lamp. Yeah. And you, did you have sex with this woman? No, no, she was with her brother, and she didn't speak English. She spoke some sort of, like, fucking unka-tunka shit. Like, I have no idea. We, didn't, we couldn't communicate. It was just like our attraction for each other was what we communicated with. Right. And then I just started making out with her online at McDonald's. Oh, okay. Is that true? Tim, she, ha she looked just like you, I swear to God. I started making out with her, like, deep and passionately, and her brother just started getting very aggressive and angry yeah. and making, like, throat, like, guttural noises. Yeah. The, ooh, ooh. Yeah. And, that and was this that. was the last time Nate Bargatze gave you any work. Yes, yeah. that was it. <laughs> that was the end. What a show. Me, me opening for Nate Bargatze. <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of Christian families. <laughs> and then you never saw her again. Never saw her again. That's, that's like, the one that got that's, away. That's like your Titanic, basically. Yeah. That's like it. <laughs> your star-crossed lover's moment is you in that 300-pound fucking... Yeah, oh, yeah. Inuit. Yeah. <laughs> Inuit, yeah. She was hot. I missed her, though. Um, yeah. So, yeah, anyway, uh, Rich Boss is back Canada. Uh, let's see. Uh, Peter, Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian break up. Yeah. It's a big deal in the Lewis, comedy. Yeah. Lewis, this, is, this was all your idea. This is the shittiest list. Of what are you, this, well, it, it's everything that happened. I'm skipping the sad ones. Comedian Ray Teddy Ray. Ray dies in apparent drowning yeah. right after Pete Davidson and Kim yeah. Kardashian <laughs> break up. None of these have any relation to each okay. other. It's, a, it's on a timeline, Tim. In uh, September, yeah. a little boy was raped and murdered in <laughs> Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, let's talk about that for a minute. Huh? <laughs> In even... September of 2022, I hired Tiffany Haddish to babysit baby James. <laughs> Her and Ari Spears. 
I had no idea why it was a bad idea. Her and Ari Spears came over and taught James about comedy. <laughs> I didn't hear anything about this story, but my immediate reaction when I heard Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears made child pornography, I was like, well, it's got to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably pretty fucking good child pornography. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably There's nothing else that's hilarious. He's probably fucking yeah. hilarious, dude. I trust them as artists to be. Yeah. You, you, know, you didn't see. TV. Yeah, look, it fucking honestly, it's fucking racist. Roman Polanski, I guarantee you, could do whatever they did. Yeah. And the people would be like, well, you know, he's weird. He's a weird guy. Yeah. And I did because, a show with her last week, and yeah. she's, you know, it's over. How's she doing? It's not great. <laughs> It's not great. She said she got on stage and she's like, you haven't lived until you've had hundreds of thousands of people talking shit about you online. And the whole audience was silent. They were just like, okay. <laughs> Is she gonna? And then she did. And then she's like, you know, motherfuckers be lying. Yeah, yeah. They lie about shit. And everyone's like, okay. All right. They lie about shit. They lie. Good for her, dude. Good for her. Move on. Innocent but, until proven guilty. I don't believe any of that bullshit. Until proven I love, I love all the, the family. It's insane to me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Tiffany Haddish is a child pornographer. <laughs> you expect me to just believe that? <laughs> yeah, right. No chance. There's no way that fucking happened. No, that's not what happened. They, they made sketches with little kids, and they were doing, like, suggestions. So does shit fucking Brian kids. Singer, and he works all the time. That's it's racist. Right. It's yeah. fucking racist. It's ra that's right. Black people should be pedophiles. No, I mean it. This is the civil rights issue of our time. They, get that. they should have more creative license to be able to look. If you come up with this funny sketch where you see an eight-year-old's penis, yeah. if there's anybody I trust to do it, it's Tiffany Haddish and Harry Spears. Certainly not Brian said apt pupil wasn't worth a bunch of 14-year-old boys being molested. It's a shitty movie. It's not a good film. Yeah. X-Men First Class? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. By the way, right after that, he has, Lewis has, Nick Cannon has his eighth, ninth, and tenth child. No. Yeah. Well, they gotta keep making these sketches. Where are they gonna get to do? <laughs> they need to make Mad TV Junior somehow. Uh, yeah, no, the, the, Tiff the Tiffany Haddish, Ari Spears thing, I mean, look, they're just, they're guilty of, are they here? What happened? I mean, like, what if we had them perform live the child pornography? If Tiffany Haddish jumps off this and just lands on the stage, that would be the greatest ending to this festival. Yeah, uh, I did. Uh, I did the uh, the the comedy festival in Cabo with Tiffany Haddish. At one point, we were exactly in the same places in our careers. That yeah. was probably never true. <laughs> <laughs> You were, you were in the same physical location. That is not. Lewis has no idea how careers work. He's like me and Jim Gaffigan were at the same McDonald's in Times Square. At one point, point, we were like brothers. It's like that's not at all how anything works. It's like my dad talks about doing blow with one guy that was on a Steely Dan album one time. And he's like, I could have been famous. No, dude, I'm telling you right now. Me and Tiffany Haddish were fucking neck and neck. And you didn't rape any kids. That's the problem. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And then a week later, you met the love of your life in a Montreal McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. And you let that slip away, too. I did. <laughs> that, was, that had to be true love. That's what it looks like. Yeah. It's fucking guttural, like, That's groaning right. at a fat Inuit. She in didn't know McDonald's. you were a comic. She didn't care. She liked right. it. No, she did. She had no way to know what I was. She could, we could only look at each other and make different noises that neither of us understood. I could just imagine Nate just, like, rolling his eyes in the back of the McDonald's. He thought it was crazy. He was like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> You don't even know that girl. <laughs> That's a beautiful story. It is a beautiful story. It's a story. beautiful, beautiful tale. It is. Um, I'm out now. Let's see what else. Uh, uh, before I mean, this is this one's kind of done. We'll talk about it in a minute. Though. What's your favorite moment from the past year, Nick? I'll say so we'll do some more news. Come down ended in this yeah. past year, and you started the Adam Friedman show. Adam Friedman's a uh, Yes. Honestly, yeah, no, I'm excited about it. I don't want to say too much because it's a surprise, but we got, uh, yeah, we got big things in Tiffany story. Haddish is the first guest. Tiffany Haddish doing a live kabuki play <laughs> of uh, the child rape thing that she came up with. Andy Kindler fires shots at Louis C.K. And Shane Gillis. In, and Shane in a New Yorker article. And Andy Kindler, who we stole this bit from. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he started talking shit about Shane Gillis. He hates everyone on this stage, by the way. Yeah, he would hate it. By the way, we if would... If he knew you, he'd hate you. 
No, he blocked me. He blocked me on Twitter. Oh, did he? He blocked me, too. Oh, uh, did he block you? He hates me. Why? Doesn't like me. Makes no sense. I love you. And that's very sweet. He's a weird... He, like, he just started to like have opinions in the last like two years. Yeah, he was nice to me when we did the JFL, but I think, you know, he doesn't like Joe. He just... He doesn't like a lot of... I think it's you get old and you're like, oh, I'm yeah. a dumb gimmick comic that's like yeah. irrelevant now. And he's gonna hate... Like, that's his thing is to hate people. Right, So exactly. he's gotta keep hating people. Yeah, I just... I don't get what the point of being like a, a weirdo who lets politics ruin your... or run your life, you know? Like, who gives yeah. a shit? Agree. Yeah. Like, see, it's the fucking... It's, it, I, I can't, like, because I guarantee you from his yeah, you perspective... you got to let comedy ruin your life. Yeah. That's <laughs> let, let the comedy ruin it. Yeah. No, but, uh, like, no, I'm assuming he, like, looks at somebody like me or you, and he's like, oh, these right-wing weirdos. Yeah. And it's like, like, I mean, you're right-wing, you're Republican, but I'm the furthest <laughs> thing. I'm the furthest thing from right-wing. You're the furthest thing from a, a voter. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> You're, yeah, because you're, you're not allowed yeah. at elementary schools I mean, yeah. where all the voting happens. You're the happens. furthest thing from anyone that has an ID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like... <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I guess the article uh, he wrote about the article, this article is celebrating hack comedy and white supremacy and sexual harassment. It's the worst article I've ever read in any magazine, and I've been a New Yorker subscriber forever. It's brainless propaganda. Oh, boy. Wow. Mm. Yeah, I mean, what whatever, dude. Your words? Louis, you know, Louis, I think he's fucking paid his dues at this point, right? About what? You mean to come back into society? Yeah. I guess that's not really up to anybody, you know? Yeah, he's doing what he does. He's got to just try it out. That's what we have jail for, to figure yeah. out if people paid their dues or not. Yeah, if you commit a crime, you go to jail. Yeah. If you jack off in front of people, I mean, I guess maybe right. it's a crime, I don't know. Thing is, the reality is, I think it should be if you jerk off in front of a complete stranger against their will, it should be a ticket, like a like a parking ticket. You know what's fucked up? About Not it? even a misdemeanor. It should be all right. Here's a violation, sir. Yeah. Pay this in 30 days, or you gotta go to court. You know what's fucked up about the world? If they really took everything away from him and he ended up homeless in New York, eventually you would just be jacking that off. That is true. Right, right. On the train. It's just a cycle, and then he'd yeah. be like, he'd start writing comedy again. Yeah. It's just a circle. Yeah. 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 Then people will be like, can you believe that? That guy used to jack off in front of people on the train. <laughs> and now, he's, now he's a brilliant comedian. Now he's got a show on True TV. <laughs> <laughs> then he goes right into the cycle, starts jerking off in front of young comedians again. What article was that? But I don't even know. It was a New Yorker article. Shane had a whole article written about it in the New Yorker. And uh, it was they telling. They stopped writing articles about you, huh? It was, no, Seth? it was, oh yeah, Seth. I think stop writing articles about you. He doesn't mention me at all. I think my you. fans genuinely scared him. Oh. I think they were like, you know I what? Think this he stopped is... writing about comedy. No, he still writes about comedy, dude. Oh my God. I check up once in a while on his blog, his uh, Seth Simon's. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Substack. I do. He has it. I and I just and I see him. Like, dude, is he writing about me? And he avoids mentioning Legion of Skanks at all. I genuinely think you guys scared him in some fucked up way, dude. I'm not encouraging that, but good job. Good job, folks. I think that guy's like CIA or something. I don't think he's real. It's Seth the Simon? shittiest version. It's the shittiest like department at the CIA. Yeah, right. Dude, I, there's a 50-50 shot. It's just a Nick Mullen alternative character on the internet. Yeah, maybe. It would be pretty funny. <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. Dude, if, hilarious. You, if you were behind Seth Simons, <laughs> just getting your friends canceled. Yeah. <laughs> just ruining all you know, of our man, careers. I was saying all the time, I'm like, what's up, man? <laughs> How are you? That would literally be the fucking funniest thing on the planet. That would be crazy, though. That would be psychotic. I'm not yeah. Kidding. No, he ended up getting really embarrassed because he wrote that article that got published. Yeah. And then, like... Saying that Chris Italia was fat. Yeah. We, <laughs> <laughs> and then they found out that, like, a bunch of guys on a subreddit or the ONA forum were just feeding him fake information to be funny. And by the way, yeah. whoever that is, thank you. Yeah, it was... <laughs> Whoever, and you're in the room. And and that's just the it. premise that Chris Italia uses the computer for anything other than recipes.com. That's what <laughs> right, I can right. say. Yeah. Doggy, then, so then after this article comes out, right, and they, they let this article bake on the internet for like a month or two months, then the, sub, the people on this forum came out and they showed all of the receipts and proof about how they tricked him into feeding him fake information. And then he just completely went silent. Like, all of his tweets are protected now. He stopped talking about comedians. He's a fucking fool. Those people on that ONA forum legitimately fucking crushed that guy's soul. And they fucking rule for that. Those are good people. And they saved comedy. And that's the Christmas story. 
a beautiful Christmas story. It really is. Tim, what, what's the big thing that happened in your past year? You bought your fourth house? What was it? No, I, me and Joe Rogan are opening a kill shelter. <laughs> <laughs> where we're gonna take neighborhood dogs and choke them out yeah. and then skin them and eat the meat, which has a high fat content. Um, yeah, and that's it. We're just, we're just doing stand-up and, you know, Netflix, whatever. I went to Tim's um, party for Memorial Day. Yeah, we had a Memorial Day party. Lewis came with a lovely woman. Yeah, oh yeah. And I went to your beautiful house and it, yeah. was, uh, it was great, dude, but I, I brought um, like a 12-pack of beer and yeah. two cases of White Claws. <laughs> two cases of White Claws, and I was like, you know, of course, you go to a barbecue, you're going to always do that. And I pull up to his house in the Hamptons, and he's got valet parking. And I was like, fuck. So you're living in the Eyes Wide Shut house. <laughs> yeah, it's an Eyes Wide Shut. Yeah. It's an Eyes Wide Shut, except Lewis is... That, is, that yeah. really is, honestly, if you can get to that level, that is gay excellence, to be the yeah, old it's gay, man. It's gay excellence. Yeah, and, it's and, gay. Then I, and then I ruin it by saying, Lewis, come over yeah. and eat yeah, yeah. potato salad. Yeah, instead of, instead it's gay excellence, and then it's Lewis and Mike Feeney eating yeah, macaroni Lewis, salad. Lewis fucking up the password. It's, like the, it's the biggest waste of money. When you're a comedian, there's no reason to have money. It's the biggest waste of money, because all your friends are pieces of shit. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. So it's just like disgusting people right, yeah. Yeah, walking you around make, the yard. Make thirty million dollars off a podcast, and then your living room looks like Rena Center, basically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Louis, Louis came to the party. Louis was at the party, and I said, "What a year! What a couple of years this guy had!" Because two years ago, it was Jack Nicholson in an estate by the water, and I don't live by the water. And this year, Louis, I looked to the corner of my eye. Louis was eating potato salad, and he was talking to Louis, and he was enjoying it. That's, that's, he was actually enjoying it, and I'm like, man, what a trip. Yeah. What a ride. What a ride it all is. <laughs> Dude, then Louis, Louis also brought his dog to your party like a fucking jerk off. If you bring your dog to a fucking party, you're an asshole. And I had to tell him it because I, I just trashed Rosebud Baker for bringing her shitty dog. Yeah. And as I'm trashing Rosebud, Louie walks in with his dog. And I was like, fuck, now I'm going to trash Louie. Is, is, is Louis C.K.'s dog's red rocket out constantly? <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> He's just he's hoping like, everybody's he's like right. 101 Dalmatians where they're looking yeah. for a husband and yeah. all the dogs. He was just humping like Karen Feehan yeah. every yeah. night. And Louis's like, so what? He apologized. Yeah. Yeah. And then Karen's like, guess who has a boyfriend? <laughs> 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 guess who finally got a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> he works at the fire station. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm dating a firefighter. Yeah. You're like, oh, did you hear Karen's dating a firefighter? <laughs> And then she's got Spot. His name's Spot. He works yeah. at the fire department. <laughs> and then she fell in the pool and died. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Holy shit! This is a funny show. God damn it, dude. This is the beginning of Skank Fest. Dude, I went to I went to I went to a crystal shop with this white lady recently, and there was a great Pyrenees or whatever they're called on the big floor. Big one, yeah. Big white dog. And then she looks at the shop owner and she goes, "Is this a golden retriever?" And it, at first I was like, oh, this bitch is dumb. But then I was like, no, that's how you know that's a keeper. Because yeah. most of those white women, they fuck dogs. So if, this, if she doesn't know, if she has no idea what a golden retriever is, that's like, that's up there with like, wh what's a black guy? You know what I mean? <laughs> that's basically what she said nowadays. If you think about it, in the white woman world, Oh, fuck, dude. Well, that's it. That's the year of comedy. That's really the year. I mean, the, the year of comedy. A lot of deaths, a lot of people accused of molesting children. Comedy. Yeah. Comedy, yeah. Has, there, has there been anybody else wanna, canceled in the past year? You want to take one last shot at Brendan Schaub? Yeah, you have anything you, you have anything left to say? I, and I mean this. No, hold on, hold on. You guys woo tonight. that. You guys woo that. Do you, like, hate him? I don't get it. No. He's just a Templeton. <laughs> It's just okay, funny yeah. to make fun of him. Oh, okay, all right. He has a good career leaning into, like, it's, oh, right. there's a lot of really funny comedians that no one, at this festival who no one's heard of who live in cars. I, guess I go on yeah. the road, I go on the road, and people come up to me, and they're like, talk shit about Brendan Shaw. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is it? The valet said that once I was getting yeah. in my car. He's like, don't let Brendan Schaub get away with it. Yeah. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck's going on? No, dude, sometimes I'll be at the grocery store, and the guy behind the counter, I'll be like, dude. I'm a homeless cat. Meow. I'm like, what? 
And Lewis is like, I'm just homeless. <laughs> You call no, me fucking homeless, and he beats the shit. Doggy, I have no, I have no problem with Brendan Schaub at all. I actually, I met him once. I thought he was a nice guy. I think people don't like when you're, you know, he's tall, good-looking, rich, and had a very easy path. You're not rooting for that guy. The, people like the underdog. You know what I'm saying? But he so, isn't in the world of comedy. He is an underdog. He's That's an underdog. underdog. Not really. No, he's no, he's he got rich and he has a lot of fans and he didn't have to do any of the hard shit that anybody has to yeah, do in comedy. So that, like we all, every one of us went through a time Look, where we had multiple roommates. I, and I, on. I feel bad for him the way I feel bad for Hunter Biden. You know right. what I mean? Right. But it's like, that's not an enviable position to be in. To be a fucking millionaire, his dad's the president. You got one pair of pants and you just take pictures of your cock. Yeah. It's <laughs> a good point. That's funny. What the fuck else is he gonna do? So yeah, but so Hunter Biden's funny. <laughs> yeah, Hunter Biden is a very funny guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> can't help himself. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's really it. So no, like, dude, look, and I said this before, and I'll say it again. It's an open invite for Brandon Schaub to come out here to Skankfest. And if he came out, I think this fa these fans would fucking respect him and love him for it. That dumb bitch Whitney Cummings showed up. They love her now. She's had to show up. Yeah. That's because she's selling that, them coke. That dumb bitch Whitney Cummings. <laughs> <laughs> they all love her. Yeah. Well. Amazing. Well, this was the start of Skankfest three years ago, right? Yeah. Three years ago? No. Uh, Five years ago? 2016, Tim. When Damn. was that? That was pre-Trump. Wow. Yeah, they blamed, they blamed Skankfest for Trump getting an office oh, in one a, article, do you remember? That, that Donald Trump became president, and then Louis J. Gomez became a political kind of guy. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, the, now, now we live in a world where Aaron Berg is in the Financial Times. Yeah, think about that. That's Over the last four years, Louis Gomez has been described in major media publications as like a political <laughs> figure. <laughs> He's been described as like a dangerous political figure. Today, he had a plastic oh, gun in his ass. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm your future Secretary of Defense under Dave Smith. You better believe it. Yeah. That's another thing that happened this year. Dave Smith announced that he might be running for president. Good. good. Yeah, good. Would you guys vote for Dave? Sure. Depends on who else. When Dave is finally running, it's going to be like The Rock and Cookie Monster. And, uh, <laughs> we're going to have a fucking another president. Is it Kamala's going to get three votes and lose <laughs> to the space shuttle? That's what, that's what, <laughs> the space shuttle's going to get more votes. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to see the Legion of Skanks branch out into other things like running the country. <laughs> yes. That's, I think, I think that's the logical progression yeah. for this show. <laughs> is to have Dave Smith be the president and then have you and Big J have like cabinet positions. Yeah. I don't know, I think Jay would be Big like- Big J's would be the cookie cabinet. He'd be like secretary of state because everybody likes him, Yeah. you know? And I think you would be still podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Until I die, baby boy. Then Lewis's job is going to spend the four years of the administration trying to figure out how many sides are on the Pentagon. Yeah. <laughs> the most amazing thing yeah, about America, though, think about this. Here's the most amazing thing about America. No matter what you say about America, and we are at the end of this country, the most amazing thing about America is Lewis Gomez, a guy who should have been a cell phone salesman, yeah. has made a fucking, has fucking made all of this. Yeah. Literally, that's all fucking him. That's fucking crazy. I agree. It is 100% me. Yeah. It's, it really no is. No one true. else has helped. Yeah. I agree with that. And I, look, and I mean this, guys. I fucking, YouTube being here. Yeah. It, it, here's the amazing thing, dude. And I really mean this, dude. When we started this shit in 2016, we were like, dude, we got to get like fucking crazy headliners and the best comedians in the world and blah, 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 blah. And we were just constantly always looking for the best. And now all of my friends have become truly the best fucking comedians in the world. It's an, it's, we've grown into it. It's a crazy fucking thing, dude. Yeah. It's like, I, I, I look at this, and to sit on the stage with you guys, I mean, it's a fucking honor. Two of the most brilliant comics that I've ever met in my entire life. I love you, buddy. This love show. You. I love you guys. This show, I hope, we, I hope we get, to, get to do this every year at Skankfest yes. or once in a while, because this yeah. is so much fun. Thank you guys for coming out Thank and supporting you, Bastard Radio. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah, from the home of the dog, the Brooklyn squad. Who tank 